Yeah, but let's get to the Alec Baldwin news. Hello, everyone. I'm Kira Phillips. We are coming on the air with some breaking news this hour. We have just learned that all charges are going to be dropped against award-winning actor Alec Baldwin. This comes on the day that his movie Rust was set to resume following that fatal on-set shooting. Our investigative correspondent, Aaron Katursky, joining us with more. What do we know, Aaron? Kira, word came to us via sources just moments ago that the two counts of involuntary manslaughter against Alec Baldwin in connection with the shooting that killed Helena Hutchins on the set of Rust in New Mexico are going to be dropped. We now have a statement from Alec Baldwin's attorneys saying we are pleased with the decision to dismiss the case against Alec Baldwin and we encourage a proper investigation into the facts and circumstances of this tragic accident. That statement from the attorneys for Alec Baldwin, Luke Nickus and Alex Spiro just moments ago. Baldwin had been charged with those two counts of involuntary manslaughter that had accused him of ignoring safety standards that are supposed to be the protocol for movie sets. They also uh, uh, really said that Alec Baldwin w was negligent as, as the, the lead producer on the film and there were enhancements included in those charges kira that would have called for some significant prison time had he been found guilty his attorney yeah that would have been insane like that that would have been absolutely insane guys i talked about this at the time and everybody got fucking mad at me but like as an individual actor charging him for this is insane as a producer potentially it's like almost a rico in that regard where like you have to prove like a deliberate attempt, uh, and and I guess you could do that technically. But here's your two hour take when these charges first drop. Yeah, I fucking talked about this endlessly, and motherfuckers yelled at me about it. I was like, "There's no fucking way." What is this? Amazing rule number one of gun safety violated for a movie shot. That's crazy. Like, people were losing it, debating me on this over and over again. As I said, the Santa Fe District Attorney was just an absolute fucking clout demon. I was right. And uh, she ended up going on Fox News to talk about, uh, you know, uh, to talk to Sean Hannity about it and stuff. It's just so silly. Chat was being so fucking dense during that discussion, painfully dense. Yeah. Attorneys have always said, and Baldwin told ABC's George Stephanopoulos that he did not pull the trigger. That's not how he operates, and that he had no reason to believe that there would be a live round in the chamber of the gun. And now the prosecutor in New Mexico has dropped those two counts of involuntary manslaughter. He owned the production company El Dorado. They cut safety corners if you advocate for Norfolk Southern to be held criminally liable. How is this any different? Um, that's, do you hear the words that are coming out of my mouth? Do you understand what I said? I said, cost cutting, corner cutting is absolutely something you could get him on and hold him potentially criminally liable. Okay. But like the operational procedures here that he paid for as a producer that are relatively simple operational procedures that the armorer should have fucking followed through on they didn't okay a lesser known producer would have probably been blacklisted in charge no 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 you're wrong cost cutting and that stuff would not be warrant criminal liability no in the world that we live in cost cutting does not warrant criminal liability okay that's the difference. There's a difference between what I think should happen versus what I know will happen, okay? When I'm talking about what I know will happen, yes, I knew and called that, like, it was insane to fucking criminally uh, uh, consider him uh, criminally liable. People tried to make the argument that, like, you know, actors should actually uh, unload the gun and check it themselves. Why would the fuck would there be an armorer or a person handling these lethal props if that was the case. The moment that a fucking actor handles the gun themselves, you've already, you already have destroyed that. You've destroyed the safety measures that are put in place in the industry. I had this argument over and over again, and for some weird reason, people refuse to see it. Okay?
Yeah. Decent take, but like they didn't charge him for negligence because of his company. They charged him personally for manslaughter because he pulled the trigger. Exactly. It was silly. It was stupid. It was a ridiculous fucking charge. Okay. Forgot you put white pedos, uh, white celebrities on a pedestal. I am going to get on the set of Rust to to be the next person that Alec Baldwin pulls the trigger on. If you cannot, if this is the audience I've cultivated for myself, okay, it is absolutely unimaginable that like. People just see shapes, colors, and sizes. They are so used to arguing on the internet, not on the virtue of what is truthful, what is correct, but instead immediately, oh, he's white. Fuck Alec Baldwin, okay? Suck my fucking dick, you dumb bitch. Shut the fuck up. I do not give a fuck about Alec Baldwin, okay? If you think I'm defending Alec Baldwin here because he's some white celebrity, you are the most delusional moron I have ever seen in my entire life. Okay. Just remember, it's a loud minority of your community. I know. And I wish that they just did not exist in my fucking community. Or if they were going to exist in my community, they just knew to shut the ever loving fuck up. Okay. Especially when they're in the fucking wrong. Huh. You don't know anything about how these sets operate. You don't know the protocols. You didn't listen to me when I talked about it extensively. And, of course, you're in here. Oh, it's a new account, Andy. Auto flagged by the system. Hard to say it's a community member. Yeah, it's probably fucking a dumbass coming in here with a sock account. Just, like, stir shit up. This is what, like, a lot of pathetic losers do because they have nothing better going on in their fucking lives. Anyway, I used to get annoyed when you started going at people, but since watching the deprogram interview, I've realized how much you practice this shit over years and I cannot know what. Anyway. Alec Baldwin cutting corners on safety protocols and it leading to an innocent woman dying. He was a producer on the set and he should be held liable. I don't have a disagreement with the, uh, with you there. I think that cost-cutting measures, especially when the fucking unionized producers are literally, or uh, the unionized people that are walking. I heard you patternized, Gideon. Is this true? Just clearing doubts? Patternized. Bro, y'all are not even trying. I had like a fucking almost hour-long conversation with Gideon. Uh, like I talked to Gideon all the fucking time. No, I didn't patronize. I think the word you're looking for is is patronize, okay? Which is like uh, like I I I big broed him, okay? That's what that's what the word you're looking for, and that is. For I take a week off from like last year the special prosecutor in the case had already resigned and now we learn that the the whole case against alec baldwin is going away kira and our kana whitworth out of los angeles now kana what does this mean for baldwin's co-defendant and ex rust armorer uh hannah gutierrez reed i mean charges still stand against her right it looks like it's falling on her now Kira, you're exactly right. So while Baldwin is breathing a sigh of relief here, all things are still moving forward with this armor, with Hannah Gutierrez Reed. Nothing has changed for her at this moment. She is facing uh, this count of involuntary manslaughter, and she will still stand trial at this point. And again, that trial, the preliminary part of it is set to start on May 3rd. And so 
We have called out to the DA's, off, DA's office there. We are waiting for a statement from them, but we have not heard that yet. So again, as you mentioned, Kira, all things right now are falling directly in the lap of the armorer, Hannah Gutierrez-Reed, who still faces her charges. We also want to point out, too, that we, of course, can't forget about Dave Halls. He was in charge of safety on the set, and a reminder that he has already accepted a plea deal there. Uh, he was sentenced to six months of unsupervised probation for the negligent discharge of that firearm firearm on the set of rust so as we watch this go forward now all eyes there of course Kara, are on hannah gutierrez reed all right kana whitworth also our aaron katursky thank you so much i'm kira phillips you can join me back on abc news live for more and of course tonight on world news with david muir